Hey YouTube, I am back uh, to do another unboxing. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, <clears throat> just uh, was uh, getting over uh, a nasty flu, man. Uh, the whole family got hit. So, but anyhow, <clears throat> back, ready to continue on. Um, what I just what I wanted to comment before we start this, uh, there's some really good discussions going on on other videos um, and questions and answers, and that that's exactly the whole point, right? Uh, you know, that's that's why I wanted it posted, you know, on the public as opposed to emails. Um, uh, a really good question that I just wanted to touch on uh, was the Monte Cristo episode. Um, with the number twos and <clears throat> uh, someone commented well the box is fake because the on we'll just take a look at this one on the back um, of the, uh, of the, uh, the box it wasn't as you would open it it was the other way uh, it wasn't horizontal it was vertical which right away was like well it's a fake fake box and no it's not I mean it, it's it's rare um, I shouldn't say it's rare I, I have seen it and I've seen it honestly as far back as I can remember like 2000 2001 uh, and I'm talking in B&M's uh, that I've seen these so just because this isn't what you think the right way Look at the big picture. You know, does it have the box code? Does the Habanos sticker match the year? Does the government seal legit? Can you feel the tobacco sticker on the bottom? Does the serial number uh, authentic? Do you see the serial number in the microprint? Um, it's a whole bunch of things. And then when you get into it, you know, how is the parchment? Does the parchment ma match the year of the box? And then ultimately, it comes down to the cigars. So, there's a lot of things that you have to look at before you see one thing and go, oh, you know what, this is wrong, it's fake. Take the time, look at the whole thing, and then come to a conclusion. Don't, don't right away jump on, uh, on you know, oh, no, uh, you know what? Uh, the DOP isn't on the Habano sticker in, uh, you know, 2011. Well, yeah, maybe, because they're in that, or 2010. It's on that transition period, so yeah, maybe you might have some that do, some that don't. You know, there, there's a whole, a whole bunch of little things that come into it. But anyway, enough of that. <clears throat> so, as you can see, i got two hands for this, this time. Um, so let's get into this guy. So we have the H. Upman the Royal Robustos, and I'm excited to open this. I've wanted these for so long, um, and finally got a box. So again, you know, let's go over it again. So we have our Habanos, the DOP, our uh, La Casa del Habano, our government seal. Let's see if I can bring that in, let's see the reflection. Um, we won't go over the microprint, but there is the microprint on the, um, the leaf as well as uh, on the Republica de Cuba. Um, and this box is UPE September of 13. So, and very nicely done, eh? Like, th this is so, such a beautiful box. Wow. But uh, let's get into this because I am excited to see how these guys look. So. Make our cuts. Yeah, it's sealed all the way around. Wow. <clears throat> and let's get the government seal. It. 
So you're going to have to give me a couple minutes here. I've never opened one of these before, so bear, uh, bear with me. Oh, there we go. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Okay. It's just like opening up a brand new book. When you get that crack, I don't know if it's just me, but <laughs> I just love it. Okay, so we have our parchment. All right. And our H. Upman. And here we go. Let's see if I can put, whoops, let's see if I can bring that in. Oh, man. It's just, it always, I'm just always in awe when you open up a box and just that smell. I just want to see if I can get one of these out here. Beautiful. The e. H. Upman with the secondary Casa del Habano band. Let's see if we can get, uh, get the foot in here. Good bunching, very nice, pliable. I gotta smell this. One second. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That's just what the doctor ordered. Smell this ten times. Call me in the morning. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. So, oh, sorry they're running around on me now. But, um, yeah, like they're just really well rolled. Wow. Mm. Excellent, excellent. But there you have it. <clears throat> Bring this in for a closer look for you guys. See if we can get it to zoom. There you go. The H. Upman Royal Robusto uh, 2013. Nice, nice sheen on them. Can't wait to try these out. And there you have it, guys. So anyhow, uh, that's it for me today. Uh, I, sorry, again, I apologize. I know it's been a while, but uh, got to do what you got to do to get uh, past the, uh, the sixth season. <laughs> but uh, we shall talk again. Uh, I think maybe the next video, um, I'm going to do a couple... I have a couple of tabletop uh, lighters. I got the um, uh, the quad uh, Zycar tabletop and um, and the uh, Alex Bradley, what I call the Bunsen burner. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, we'll look over those for a bit and, um, and we'll I just want to see these again. Beautiful sticks, like wow, everything so far, just absolutely gorgeous. Anyhow, I'm losing my train of thought, eh? See what the uh, cigars do. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll do a quick little uh, discussion and review on those. And um, that's it. So as always, uh, hit like, subscribe, questions, post them. Uh, I will do the best I can to answer. And uh, if I don't know the answer, I will certainly research to find the proper answer. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again. Cheers.